Well, we're out here today taking a look at my slow growing little hogs here. We got Franklin. Frank the runty double eared little guy. Show him your ears, Frank. Show him his funny ears. You got your little mutation here. And we got Sloth. He's, I just call him Sloth. His name's Coleslaw. Coleslaw is half as old as Frank. Let me back out so you can see that Slaw is bigger than Frank. Whatever Frank's problem is, whatever makes him runty, most people around here would have put a 22 to him and left him out for coyote bait. I feel like he could serve a purpose for me. And then here we've got old Beans. Beans is the same age as Frank right here. Right, big girl? Give me that nose. Give me that nose. All right. Give me that nose. No, you can't take a taste of me. <clears throat> Yesterday they had red cabbage and uh, onion scraps for a supplement on top of their normal. Today is a... Uh, if we put it, if we put yesterday's food and today's food together, it'd look like a chef salad, short of some tomatoes maybe. Today they're getting a, a lawnmower combination of summer annual forages, or summer perennial forages rather. So summer grasses, warm season grasses, mixed with sorghum sedan, or forage, forage sorghum. I think there's a slight difference between forage sorghum and sorghum sedan, but let's just call it sorghum. And um, what else is in that mix? There's about a hundred square foot of brassicas. So there was purple top turnips, bacon radish, beet greens, um, some weeds, you know, wild carrot, that sort of thing. But all high protein stuff that's in its prime, not seeded and old rank junky looking stuff like what I see all the cows grazing on these days and um, they do get grain they get actually I think plenty of it what what I do is I manage for insulin I don't want high insulin high insulin equals high disease high insulin insulin is a hormone that parks fat you can choose to burn energy now or you can choose to store it for fat later and insulin keeps you in a anabolic phase meaning growing if you ain't working out and you ain't growing muscle you're growing fat you know new tissue manufacturing tissue that's anabolic catabolic is dismantling tissue liquefying tissue to make it into soluble energy but you don't want a pig in a catabolic state i don't know maybe something i'll do someday for my own weird purposes put him on a treadmill <laughs> running a running a generator for the house or something but i'm not set up for that just yet generally you want to grow a pig you want them in an anabolic state and so people want to fatten them up so they can sell them and you sell them by the pound but these pigs aren't for sale these are breeders that's my male breeder that's my female breeder and that's my no nut having little little friend so that when i have to separate these pigs when she's ready to go into labor, she's going off on her own so that he doesn't harm the piglets. Well, I don't want him to be alone because these are social animals. So that is his partner. So these two will be friends. They'll hang out. They'll keep each other warm. They'll be in one paddock, one pen, one space. And she will have a whole host of babies to worry about. And that'll be her social life. So... I got it all planned out. I want these pigs to last me a long time. I don't want them to be 400 pounds. I don't want to have to feed a monstrous animal. I don't want the compaction on the soil. You know, I want them to have good longevity and good health. And I feel like I'm on the right track. These, she's over a year old. She's not big. I don't want a monster hog. Fat makes birthing more difficult. A fat hog has more miscarriages. You want one that's healthy, that has all of the amino acids in her profile and all of the antioxidants flowing through her bloodstream so that she doesn't have oxidative stress and she doesn't have insulin resistance. <clears throat> you know, you want all of the, uh, the immune functions in good standing so that she can pass it on through her colostrum to her babies. 
you don't want her passing on her sickness. I don't know if that's exactly possible. Can diabetes be passed on through colostrum? I would think inflammation can be. I'm not sure. What do you think, big boy? What do you think? Oh, you like your scratches. Yeah, you want to get a rub. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'll scratch you. Anyway, he's a little nippy. He likes my Crocs. Can you tell me what I'm doing wrong in the comments below? I think these hogs are pretty happy. There's no flies on them. There's no smell. It smells like fresh air. They ain't whining. They got a wallow. They got some shade. That's their little spot to cool off and get a mud bath to keep uh, to suffocate any lice or ticks or fleas that start to harass them. Manure piles raked up in there. This is their, this is their little bathroom spot. The plops look good. There's never been any scours. I've never had a, never had a down pig. There's never been any depression kind of attitude or demeanor. They're always happy to see me. I don't think it could get much better. And I expected him to not even live, so he's doing fine. Thanks for watching. God bless and praise the Lord.